Today I'm going to show you how to flip photos horizontally using two free products from one great company, Fastone, and uh, the Fastone Photo Resizer and the Fastone Image Viewer. I made a previous video on how to add watermarks to multiple pictures all at once. Uh, using the Fastone Photo Resizer, so check that out. And we're going to be doing that uh, today if if you have multiple photos that you want to flip horizontally. And why would you do that? Well, um, let's show you. You may, like me, have a whole bunch of old slides that you want to transfer into your computer. And you may accidentally transfer them in backwards. Here's some old slides right here. Um, so sometimes it's hard to tell which side is facing up, so you put them into your fancy scanner and uh, at the end you're left with figuring out whether you've put them in forwards or backwards. Anyways, um, you can end up with a whole bunch of pictures that are really great, but kind of ruins it when, the, uh, when you realize that they're all in backwards. So, I'm going to show you how to flip them horizontally one at a time, um, maybe you only have a few that you need to do, um, and do a whole bunch at once as well. So first of all, we want to go to our internet and download our products. www.fastown.org will get you where you want to go, or you can just do a Google search on Fastown, but if you want to get there directly in your address bar, put this address. The two products we want are Fastone Image Viewer and at the bottom Fastone Photo Resizer. They have a few other great products. Uh, have fun with them, but for today we're going to be dealing with these two. So with the Fastone Image Viewer, you click on Download. Generally, everybody's just going to choose the single executable download file. When you click on that, you're going to be redirected to download.cnet.com. It's a great trusted company. Um, no problems downloading it from there. So you download it and install it. I've already done it, so I'm not going to go any further with that. Now if you download the Fastone Photo Resizer, if you click on download, it's going to download uh, excuse me, if you get to this page, <laughs> it's going to download automatically. You're not going to get redirected to the download.com site. So just keep in mind. So once you've downloaded and installed the software, you'll be left with these two icons on your desktop. And first of all, let's go into the Fastone Image Viewer. I conveniently have my folder that I want to work with on on my desktop. Usually I have everything tucked away tidy in my pictures folder, but for demonstration purposes I've put that on the desktop today. So we click on old slides and voila instantly the contents of that folder are displayed here and a preview is displayed here of the individual picture that you've selected. Now we can work with them right here. We don't have to um, expand them, uh, open them up any further. From here we can click the picture we want and we can go to Edit, Rotate, and in Rotate we have the option to actually turn them, but we want to flip horizontally and we do that and voila, magic. And you can just go to each, oh, yes we do want to save that last one, so we'll say yes and we'll save it there. It's going to replace the existing one. In this case it's okay. If you don't you can rename it something else but for now we're just going to replace it. And onwards and upwards you just go to each individual picture, flip horizontally, and follow the bouncing ball. So that's how you flip your photos one at a time horizontally 
using Fastone Image Viewer. It's got lots of other wonderful options and tools and again it's free so uh, maybe this will be your new uh, image viewer organizer of choice. Lots of YouTube videos about it out there but today we're just going to deal with flipping our photos. So once we're done we're going to close her up and now let's go into doing batch conversions. Using Fastone Photo Resizer, let's click on and open that program. I conveniently have the uh, folder I want to work with already selected. If I do not, then I would choose on this, doesn't say browse, but that's the browse option there. And I would look for the folder that I want to work with. And if you don't know how to browse your folders, um, you're going to have to uh, find another video on how to do that. So from the desktop, you have an option to expand each individual thing. You can see a little plus and a minus, and that does that. So anyways, um, on the desktop, I have my old slides, and I will select it, click OK, and uh, nothing's going to change here because I'm already, I'm already there. Now it shows all the photos in that folder. There is no preview currently, but we can change that with our view change, report view, small icon view, and thumbnail view. So then we can click on thumbnail and go, oh yeah, yeah, those are the photos we want to work with. Now we can transfer one at a time over here. So if I wanted to not do all of them, but I did want to do a lot of them at once. I could pick and choose and transfer them over. But if I just want to work with all of them, I would add all. This one I don't really need to transfer, so I'm going to remove that. So once you have selected all the photos you want to work with, we need to go down to Output Settings and modify them. First setting is output format. If you don't know anything about photo formats or picture formats, just leave it at the default JPEG. It's the format that most point and shoot cameras use or when you scan an image into your computer, uh, basic scanners will just um, scan it in as a JPEG format. So enough about that. Output folder where your finished product is going to end up. Here, the finished product is actually going to end up in the original folder, which means the converted pictures will replace the originals. If you want, if you don't want that and you want to keep a copy of your originals, I suggest creating a new folder. So we would go to Browse, find where you want to put your pictures, Right now it's already selected in the old slides folder that I'm working with. And right from here I would create a new folder. I'd click that and name it. A little plus sign shows that I already did that. So if I selected that, the originals would not be replaced. The originals would remain in this folder and the converted would be in this folder. I don't want the originals because they're backwards and it'll just confuse everything. So. I'm actually going to choose the original folder and replace the original pictures. So click OK. Now from there we go into the kind of important part. Well it's all important but this is where we actually do the uh, change settings, modification settings. So make sure that use advanced options is selected. Click advanced options and we want to go to the rotate tab make sure that that is selected. You might come here and see no options, but as soon as you click it, you'll get the options you want. And we want to, of course, choose flip horizontally. So make sure that's checked. You can save your options. Um, so at a later date, if you want to do the same thing, you can go in and, um, and have it already saved. You don't have to input all these new or these settings all over again. Um, but for now um, it's a one-time thing. We're just going to click on OK. 
and we're all ready to go except do we want to rename them? No, we don't want to rename them. If we did, that would again um, or leave the originals and uh, replace them with the duplicates, but they'll be two of the same pictures, uh, both having different names. So we'll leave that. Keep original date and times. Yes, we want to do that. And ask before overwriting. Um, well, in this case, we really don't want to. If I left that every time I, uh, when I clicked convert, every time it worked on a picture, um, I would get the option uh, asking me, do you want to overwrite? Do you want to overwrite? Just imagine if you had a hundred pictures to do that with. That would be a little annoying. <laughs> but anyways, um, uh, we're going to remove that. And the next and final step is to click convert. And it's as quick as that. And you'll see that they have all been replaced. Done. And if we want to see them big so we can confirm that they were indeed corrected, I would close this program and open up my photo viewing program, whatever that may be. In this case, I just go to the folder and click on a picture and my default program that manages my pictures is Windows Live Photo Gallery and I can see that my picture is backwards still. <laughs> uh, that's because I had flipped it once in the uh, uh, the other Fastone product. So if we go to the other pictures they are all corrected. And the last one will prove that indeed it is. Now we can see that the picture has been flipped horizontally. All the pictures have been flipped horizontally. So that's my tutorial on how to flip your pictures horizontally using some free products on the interweb. Thanks very much for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.